Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're playing As Dusk Falls again. Uh, last time we were with two people. We were with Vince and we were with a younger brother of three. And uh, one was baking into a house and failed. And the other one was in a motel which got robbed, was currently being held hostage by the three brothers. And uh, I made a mess up in a couple of decisions and now Vince, the person I was controlling last, it's got a shotgun pointed at them. So, let's hope we don't die straight away. Let's begin. Why can I not? I play solo or not? I don't have to click. Oh, there we go. Okay. I already seen all this, but something's gonna go bad. She's in the city, and there's a gun pointed at Vince. Oh, please don't die. Alvamo? I told you I wasn't gonna hurt anyone. But you are really pushing your luck. Okay. Dale, get the duffel bag. We're out of here. Oh my god. I thought I'd lost you. Me too. My legs are shaking. Vince, you can't try to fight these people. I don't want to. I know why you did it, but you just can't. I was terrified. I was scared. I wasn't thinking. I know. I just... I don't want to lose you. Believe me, I don't want to lose anyone. Daddy, did they hurt you? Oh, sweetie, I'm fine. <sighs> Two days from now, we'll be in St. Louis, and it'll be like none of this ever happened. <gasps> Guys, we're not going anywhere. Fuck! Who called them? It's Dante. He'll get us out of here. You got more faith in him than I do. Check they can't get in the back. You people are smart, you'll save me some trouble and just give yourselves up. Um, they're gonna take hostages, I think. I already have. We're not talking with this asshole. Right? Were you the one who called 911? Hmm. I dialed and left it off the hook. <laughs> We're sitting ducks here. I say we stick to the plan. Take our chances with a hostage. <laughs> the back gate's chained up. There's no way in. Tyler, I don't know. Maybe we should just give ourselves... Don't say it. Romero's impatient. And these small town cops couldn't catch a cold. Our best move is to wait. <sighs> is someone gonna get that? The police are going to catch you and put you in jail. You cut it out or I'll put you in a corner. Hey! You can't talk to my granddaughter like that. She's six years old. She's just speaking her mind. Yeah, I'm speaking my mind. Enough! Okay. Next person who talks is going in the back office. There's a second phone back there. If you could reach Dante without them knowing. Oh, 
Ah. Um, crack a joke. <laughs> hey guys, what do bank robbers eat for dessert? Uh, heist cream. You get it? <laughs> You're an idiot. You know that? <laughs> I mean, it was kind of funny. You see? He gets it. You just don't have a sense of humor. All right, that's it. Into the back. No. Don't separate us. He'll stay quiet. Michelle, it's fine. It's not fine. None of this is fine. I think you both need a little time. <laughs> Jay, make sure nobody answers the damn phone. Keep your mouth shut, and don't make me come in here again. Okay. What was that all about? There's a second phone. If the sheriff calls again. Good thinking. Can you get your hands free? Yes, yeah, no good. It's too tight. All right. How do we do this? Friction, maybe. Um. Or we use scissors. Or we use scissors. Think you can knock that pen holder to the floor? It's gonna make a noise though. It's gonna make a noise. It's gonna fall. Try to cover the noise. I'll cough. On three. One. Two. <coughs> If it's the cops, they're gonna keep calling. Can you reach the scissors? Why isn't this is working so well? Quick, I'll block the door. I'm in the Desert Dream Motel. Can you connect me directly to the sheriff? This is Sheriff Romero. Who am I talking to? My name is Vincent Walker. And I'm... my family. We're hostages in here. Whoa, slow down there, Vince. Uh, I can help you. But you gotta relax those nerves first, all right? I may not have much time. I get it. So what can you tell me about what's going on in there? Uh, my dad's sick. The motor stuff is safe. The last name is Hull. The people doing this? There's three of them. The manager said they're the, um... The Holt boys? Oh, no shit. <laughs> well, that explains a few things. Yeah? Like what? It's a long story. But tonight's gonna be the end of it. What else? Um... You're good. Keep going. Um... Taylor's in charge. The one calling the shots. I think his name's, um... Tyler? Tyler. That's right. He's coiled up pretty tight. I worry what's gonna happen if something sets him off. Huh. Yeah, I would have called him the one with the cool head. If Tyler's losing it, you need to be careful. Hey! They've blocked the door! Shit! Vince, this door won't hold. Um, there's a psycho. The middle brother, I think his name's Dale? Seems sort of a loose cannon, maybe. Yep, that's Dale. Caught him assaulting a liquor store owner a few years back. <laughs> Somehow he thinks it was my fault. I'm almost out of time. Listen, Vince, we're gonna put an end to this thing. Sooner than you think. Should have probably mentioned my daughter. Eyes open, okay? Next time you talk to one of my hostages behind my back, I take him to the window and shoot him. <laughs> Keep your people 30 yards from the motel, and don't call us again. <laughs> what did you tell him? Nothing. Nothing. I didn't have time. <laughs> You're lying to me. He's not. They barely said hello. These cops, they might work for the county, but they are loyal to him. And he does not care about any of us. And you do? <laughs> Leaving you two alone together was a dumb idea. Let go! That hurts! You should never have come to Two Rock. Huh? 
Why did the car the power? I feel like the car the power. Well, there's a power cut at the very least. So, let's see. Oil. Twelve years as a flight mechanic. Hmm. Pretty high up. Then, one day, bam. Bits of engine all over the hangar. Two workers hospitalized, and another in the morgue. All because you left a lug nut loose on a DC-10. No, that wasn't me. It was a faulty compressor disc. The airline was cutting corners. I kept warning them, but... It's still your word against theirs. My advice? Sign the form. Take the money. It's a generous offer. It's a gag order. If I sign that, it's professional suicide. Look, I keep the check. They won't even cover my rent for a year. All I want is my job back. Mr. Walker, with all due respect, you'll never work for an airline again regardless. Now, do yourself a favor. Pick up the pen. <sighs> Where do I sign? You've made the right decision. Now, all you've got to do is wake up and do it for real. Okay. Shit. A few days before the desert dream. <clears throat> Hello? Sorry. You're probably busy packing. I just picked Zoe up from swimming. We'll be home soon. Everything okay? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. I just, I just had the strangest dream. I was back in the lawyer's office, but this time I actually signed the... A dream? At this time of day? While I was packing, you know, like, dreaming about our, our new life in Missouri. Missouri. As long as everything's boxed up and in good shape for the landlord. I know this move is a big step and tons of stress, but I've got a really good vibe about it, Vince. We'll be back by seven. I'm just gonna pick up Chinese. <sighs> Zoe! Okay. Sorry, gotta go. Sure, okay, but... <sighs> I can't believe I fell asleep. All right, big man. You got until seven to get this apartment ship shape and ready to go. Where do you want to start? Okay. Wash dishes. Fix AC. Pack boxes. That's probably the most important thing to do. I guess some dreams never get off the ground. Hmm. Um, check weather. Pack photos. Pack. The golf feeling, just look at the photos, only back, bring back bad memories. Oh, I suppose it's always there as well. Make dessert. Considering they're bringing back Chinese. You know what? We had chocolate pudding the day we moved in, so why not go out in style? Hmm. Okay. Nice chocolate pudding. Nope. Be strong, Vince. Step away from the chocolate. <laughs> Stretch now. What do you fix the AC? Okay. If this is anything like the cold air unit on a flight deck, there should be. Okay. Cool, ethereal, thermostat hmm. control. It's AC by Vince. <laughs> Hi, pumpkin. Oh, I should wash up the dishes. How was your last day? Uh, dishes. Okay, I guess. Mina gave me her address, but I'm gonna miss her. No, I hear you. It's a big change for everyone. 
We'll write to her as soon as we get to St. Louis. Okay, gotta help Mommy now. Why don't you run upstairs and get your PJs on? Are you gonna put me to bed tonight? Sure thing, kiddo. <laughs> hmm. I know you worked hard today, so I got you your favorite. Mmm, shrimp. <laughs> shrimp, huh? By the way, did the moving company call? Um, nope. Hey, I know I said I was nearly done, but, um... What happened? Lost track of time. To be honest, I kinda... fell asleep on the couch. I know, I know. Are you feeling okay? I'm fine. Just that dream I had about the... You know what, never mind. You remember what you told me when I got laid off from the tax office? Make sure you empty the stationary cupboard on your way out? <laughs> no. You told me that change only hurts when you try to stop it happening. And you were right. If I hadn't gotten laid off, I would never have finished my PhD application or gotten my job at the university. I get it. Focus on the positives. Which is why I made... Chocolate pudding! Ta-da! Vincent Walker. <laughs> you know how to <laughs> twist a lady's arm. Okay. You're off the hook for not doing the chores. <laughs> God, I'm starving. Zoe's already eaten, but I haven't had a chance all day. I'll get her ready for bed when you get noodled up. Come on, let's get your jammies on. <laughs> so, how are you feeling about the move tomorrow? Looking forward to it? I dreamed that the movers took my, my star lamp. And I was so scared because I never sleep in the dark. Hey, you know what? I had a bad dream recently. About something I can't get off my mind and I wish I could. Was it about the dark? No, but... The thing about dreams is, maybe sometimes they're trying to tell us something. Like, what? That's okay to be scared. We all have things that scare us. Like the dark. And that's okay. I guess we just learn to live with it until maybe one day we won't be afraid anymore. So when I'm older, I might not even need my star lamp. Yes. Try to sleep. Okay. Love you all the way to the moon. Mm. Love you too. <laughs> uh, this moving company better show up tomorrow. How hard is it to send a confirmation message? Settled already? <laughs> well done. I'd better go kiss her goodnight before she drops off. Well, there you go. I bet that's them right now. Who's Bruce? Bruce? Oh. It could be a misunderstanding. It could be just a friend. In a weird way that he would say sweet smile. Mm. I need to get the hell out of here. Search the desk. Okay, that's the desk. Hairpin could be useful. I thought I could try the door with it, but I don't want to. Place like this gotta have a generator. There's one try window. Doesn't work. So I suppose I could just try the manual transfer. Not getting out that way. Go do it. I'm not gonna try the door. So I have to try the door. Hey, 
Hey. All right. I can't believe that actually worked. You see anything? Nah. It's too dark out there. You can barely see us. Get some rope. We can tie up the hostage. Hey, did you hear something? I'll check the back door. Hmm. Zoe's up there. She's scared of the dark. Hmm. They're coming for you. You know that, right? Shut up, Joyce. I'm serious. When are the stairs are gonna know? Should we run? Take our chances cross country? Just keep quiet. Let me think. Zoe, it's me, Pumpkin, it's Daddy. Hmm. Vince, I'm coming in. Daddy! I didn't hurt her. I promise. I know. I heard. Zoe, <laughs> you okay? Daddy, I, I don't want to be here anymore. Almost over. Hey, remember what I told you? It's okay to be scared. But it's almost over now, I promise. How do you know? Because I have a sixth sense about these things. <sighs> do you think they're gonna try to come in? Uh, warn him, don't tell. I'm pretty sure. Any minute now. I don't wanna go to jail. Then maybe you'd better hide. Listen, I'm gonna get us out of here before... before the lights come back on. Okay? With mommy and grandpa? Of course. We won't leave them behind. What a mess of a decision to leave one of them behind, I can tell. I don't have a good feeling about this. The back door's open. Are you guys all right? Oh, you found her. Thank God. Where are the holds? I think they went out the back. We need to get out of here. Give me your wrists. Okay. Uh. Are you hurt? Are you? The police? It's the police. Okay, go! Everybody down! Don't shoot! We're hostages! Stay down and don't move. Okay. Where are the perps? Run. Sanchez. Run for the bloody door. Jesus Christ. Come on, it's now or never. We won't make it. Uh, run for the door. Uh. Run. We have to go now. Please, I'll make it. Please, no. Mommy! Michelle! Sanchez is hit! 
I knew this was a bad idea. Fall back! Fall back! Hold fire! Repeat, hold your fire! I said 30 fucking yards! You try that again, and every last one of them leaves in a body bag! And I think the wife's dead, isn't she? Oh, oh shit, she's been shot. Oh, jeez. All right. Okay. She needs an ambulance. Get her an ambulance. Fuck. Fuck! No, we can't. What happened to Mommy? Quick. Joyce, oh, God. We have a first aid kit? Oh my god, I'll go check. Shh, just look at me. Uh. What happened? Where's Zoe? She's fine. Honey, she's right here. Oh no. Mommy, need some space, darling. Help me get her to the couch. Yeah, those, those brothers better not interfere while doing this. Dale, go see if you can barricade the second floor. Mm. Mm. I know that look. It's bad, isn't it? Oh no. Be real her. Keep it light. Ah, just a scratch. Barely grazed you. Don't lie to me, Vince. Vince. Help me get the wound exposed. Quick. That's it. Oh my god, honey. It didn't hit a major organ from what I can tell. But if she keeps losing blood, it won't matter. Are you a paramedic or something? No. Just spent 324 days in the jungle north of Da Nang. Saw a lot of these. Hmm. What? I, I couldn't find the first aid kit, but I got some tweezers, some pads. We're gonna take care of you, honey. Look, it went in her back and didn't come out the front. Means the bullet's still in there. Well, we, we gotta get it out then. Oh, God. Don't we? I don't know, man. You dig around too much and they get infections. Oh. And my hands shake. If anyone's doing this, it's you. I don't want it in me, Vince. Please, get it out. It's what she wants. So it's uh. okay. I'll try. You're doing fine, sweetheart. On. On. It's okay. I've got it. I've got it. Nice job, Doc. Now, let's get that thing cleaned up and covered. This here's the good stuff. Good yeah, achievements every single second. Two well. years sober this July. Okay. Yeah. It, it stings, but it's okay. Keep going. Okay. Hand okay. me that shot. She should be all right for now, but we need to keep the pressure on this wound. No, no, stop! You listen to me. What I want is a helicopter, or I start killing hostages. Huh? That's oh right. Oh my god. And safe passage to Mexico. Mexico? Since when? Since now. Those two boys are in way over your heads. You couldn't even nail a burglary. Now you want a helicopter? Spare me the lecture. Can you do it? I'll look into it. But first, I need a show of faith. Let one of the hostages go. I ain't much of one for faith. All right. So let's make it practical. You must be hungry for a hot meal. All right. How about we send you food, you release a hostage, and then I start on that helicopter. Does that work? Pizza. Enough from that shitty joint in town. Franco's. Veggie delight. Give me 20 minutes. Good uh. news, folks. One of you's going home. Oh. 
think it'd be best if we get her out first, if we get the choice, because she's the one who's wounded. <sighs> Finally got confirmation from the movers. Tomorrow morning. Good to go. Hmm. At least we get one last California sunset. Thirteen years ago, I couldn't wait to leave St. Louis. First person in the family to go to college. Hmm. My mom. I'll never forget that look of pride as she waved me goodbye. But you know what? I never realized how proud I'd feel to be going back. Hmm. I just wish it didn't involve so much stuff. Oh, is there anything more stressful than moving? Divorce, wow. Six year old. Trying to get Zoe to go to sleep? Yep, top of the list. <laughs> anyway, tonight is our last night. And it seems so long since we, you know. Oh, okay. So, how about we make it one to remember? I don't want to ruin it, because it, 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 it could be a misunderstanding. It wasn't specifically anything damning about that message. Leave it. It'll wake Zoe. Hello? Well, thank you. It's been nice working with you, too. Oh, I'm Better sure you'll finish. all do just fine without me. Good luck to you, too. Bye. Someone from the university. The one you just left an hour ago? What can I say? My colleagues miss me already. Colleagues like Bruce. Okay. Why did you... Vince, have you been looking at my phone? Daddy? <sighs> Zoe. Hey, you should be in bed. I, I couldn't sleep. I even left my star lamp on. Daddy? Yes, sweetie? We'll always live together, right? You, me, Don't do mom. this. Always. Always. Even when we're old and gray and you have to tuck us in at night. Mm. So, uh, this Bruce dude. Hmm? Oh, he's just one of the macroeconomics lecturers. We did some research together on the Ecuador financial crisis. There isn't much else to say. Okay. It's just strange. How first he texted you, then called yourself, then called the house. He missed the farewell drinks and wanted to say goodbye. He was just being nice. <sighs> Let's forget about all this. Don't let it ruin our last night. We've got a long few days ahead of us. Drink wine. Something about it doesn't add up. You've been working late, more than usual. Because I... Because I'm changing schools. <laughs> I need to leave on a high note. Now, last week you said that you had to stay in great papers. But you came back smelling of, of wine and perfume. Look at me. Vince. Hmm. I know things have been hard. This last year wasn't a great one for us. But nothing happened between me and Bruce. Can you please believe me? Uh, 
I'm giving her too much of a doubt. I'm getting the I'm sorry. Thing, but. Maybe I overreacted. It's just, yeah. like you said, I've lost a lot this year. I don't want to lose you, too. I know. It's all right. Now come here. I'm hoping I have not been proved wrong here. Wait, wait. Are you okay? No, it's fine. I'm just, um, I'm just tired with the move and everything. Yeah. Um, we better get some sleep. We have a long drive tomorrow. Good night. Mm -hmm. Night. Get her up. She's gonna have to walk. Vince, don't let them send me out. I want it to be Zoe. You're hurt, honey. You need to get to a hospital. I know I look like death, but I promise I'm not actually dying. But Zoe, look at her, Vince. Please. Oh, don't let me choose this. Uh... What do you think? Will Michelle be okay here? Hard to say. I've seen it go a lot of different ways. <laughs> I don't care who goes, but only one of them. Okay. <laughs> These engines, it's just Come more on. logical. Quintos goes to you. Let's get you to a surgeon who actually went to med school. No, 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 please. I'm all right. Listen to me. You were shot. And Zoe needs her mom when this is over, okay? Okay. Okay. Zoe. Zoe, come here, love bug. I love you so much. She better not die I now. Love that plus a hundred. Take her out, grab the food, come on back. Dropped this. <laughs> Her name's Owl. Owl, huh? You know they <laughs> can see in the dark. <laughs> She's tough. She'll make it. Okay. okay, they're coming out. Stay right where you are. We have eyes on two hostages exiting the front of the building. I'm scared, Vince. I don't want to be alone. Be fine. Scared too. Just breathe. Fine. You'll be fine. They'll get you to a hospital, throw a bunch of big words at you. And when it's all over, you'll have a badass scar for a souvenir. I guess a scar would be pretty cool. That's far enough. I'm unarmed. I'm Sheriff Romero. And I guess you must be Vince. Where's that stretcher, people? Let's go! What happened? She was shot in the raid. Looks like single entry. No exit wound. Blood pressure 60 over 30. I got the bullet out. Steve, radio ahead and activate a trauma team. Vince, I need to ask you something. I'm here. Anything. The other night, when you... When oh, I got that don't. text message and I said it was no big deal, you just trusted me. Why? This is everything. You said nothing happened, and I believe you. Do you not want me to? Of course I do. I just... Is it really that easy for you? 
Look, life's hard enough without me making problems that don't need to exist. You're a good man. <laughs> you know that, right? So I've been told. Hey! That's enough talk! Second chance. Save their marriage. Okay. I didn't realize the marriage was an issue that badly, but it's saved now. It's good you got her out. She'll be all right now. <laughs> Give him the food and send him back in. I know how hard this must be for you, bitch. But I've got good news. Yeah? We're about to have a man on the inside. Hang in there, buddy. We're rooting for you. Okay. Now pick him up and don't do anything stupid. Hey, don't forget the napkins. Two-way pager. I'll be in touch soon. Enjoy your pizzas. Hey, it's the pizza guy. You're late. No tip. Well, what do you know? A cop kept his word. Pizza ain't hard. A helicopter, though. Look, I know you didn't want this, but you got Romero wrapped around your finger. <sighs> I really hope you're right. I spent 10 years saving up for this place. Ash only just started to feel at home. How can we stay here now? We'll give the walls a fresh coat of paint. Replace the glass, you'll see. It'll be good as new. It's not the walls. It's what happened within them. Is mommy gone? She's on her way to the hospital. I'll blow her a kiss to get better. Mwah. So, did you hmm. meet the sheriff out there? Yeah, you could say that. What's he like? He's up to something. He's completely safe. Keep us safe. Seems like he's got a handle on things. I think. We'll see. Won't really know until the shit hits the frying pan. You want my take? Steer clear. Now, don't share this, but Dante's a cousin of mine, and him being sheriff, ain't no one in the family thought that was a good idea. What are you doing? I'm gonna fill it with leftovers. Jay, you gonna eat? I'm not hungry. I want it to be over, Tyler. All of it. It'll be over when we win. You remember that? And do your part. You need some goddamn food. Yes. Hey, uh. you want to share that with the rest of us? Um, nope. Don't think I do. Are you serious? Are you deaf? Hmm? No, you can't have it. It's a... Oh, is it the book with the... the birds in Arizona? So. What do you mean we can't have any? There's six pizzas. For us. So back the fuck off. You asshole. Paul has low blood sugar. It's fine. I'll eat from the vending machine. We don't get to eat? Uh. No. I said no. The answer is no. <laughs> uh. Want to choose either of these? 
Hey, how about we just do what we're told, huh? What the hell, man? We're all hungry. Well, they need their strength. We can eat when we're free. When did you start giving two shits about us? Uh, reason, charm, reason. You let one of us go. That counts for something. I really don't care what you think counts for what. They giving you problems? Nah, I got this. Oh, shit, sorry. Idiot. <laughs> Clean it up. Yeah. Mm. You know what the trouble with you is? You get too fucking involved. If you just stay quiet to begin with, we'd be gone by now. Never thought of it like that. But what you don't get is, this ain't us. We needed money, but it's not like... Tyler, he built shit. Right? Jay's into nature. Me? Mm. Yeah, I robbed the liquor store once, but... Not here. Though, why Jessica would date me after this shit, I got no idea. Sounds like some hard shit, man. Oh, fuck you. No, I'm being serious. I see your point. Well, whoop de fucking do. <laughs> you see my point? Hallelujah. Hey, I was just trying to. You know... What? Feel sorry for me? Go fuck yourself, asshole. Whatever. Enjoy the pizza. I don't think pizza's happening, guys. <gasps> oh, I wasn't hungry anyway. Hmm. You got my helicopter? Yeah, I got it. The FAA's cleared you to cross between Mexicali and El Paso. Now, uh, before I authorize the landing, I want to have a talk about why you picked my house. Face to face, up front, where there's no deal. What's he playing at? Some kind of trap? Maybe. But right now, we need to play his game. How about I go? I got some things I could say to him. No way. You I told my look after you. It's all right. I put my big boy pants on today. You mess with us, it's the hostages who pay. You'll be fine. You have my word. Pizza boy, you and I are going for a stroll. Oh, great. Hey. Tell Dante he better get us out of here. You have to hold me so tight. It's not my fault your neck's so fat. I'm coming out! God damn. I can't wait to be on a beach somewhere. Eating tamales, drinking tequila. Look at that. There, just keep a cool head. Mm -hmm. Cool head, right? You sound like Tyler. Come on, please make it back. Guess who? Dale Holt. I was expecting your brother. Merry fucking Christmas. I don't mm. like this. You know, you were small time before today. Ugly assault a couple summers back. <laughs> Some petty theft. Oh, but now look at you. You boys sure have made a name for yourselves. I'll do you one better, jackass. I pissed in your lemonade. Mm. I don't want to piss this guy off. Anyway, I believe you have something of mine. My black book. Where is it? What the fuck are you talking about? Don't play games with me. One step closer and I blow his fucking head off, I swear. Tell me where it is. I told you already. I don't know anything about that. Because the young brother took it. Have it your way. <laughs> okay. Uh. 
Oh. Uh. He probably got shot, right? Oh, he got shot. Oh, he's dead. Oh, he's dead. No! You fucking murderers! Take him out! Take him out! <gasps> Holy fucking shit! Hold your fire! All right, go. Now. One for the door. I don't understand. You're not done. Go find the book. Book? They don't have it. You heard him, they don't have it. Bullshit. Those boys are born liars. I'd go inside if I were you. <laughs> what did you do? What did I do? Are you <laughs> fucking serious? Why did you come back? Because my family's in here. God damn kill! <laughs> 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 This isn't his fault. You're the one in charge, Tyler. You're the one who let your brother go out there. You want to blame someone? Take a look in the fucking... Oh, my... Joyce. No. Tyler. She's dead because I was with a shotgun. I don't know much about guns, but that has a spread. Jesus Christ, at least the wife's out of this. I've got a feeling the kid will make it out because there was that prologue, but... Vincent, you're in deep shit. Yeah. And now he's threatening us. Well, at least the annoying bow is up killed, but how will this affect everything else? See, if I didn't let, if I let Tyler live, she possibly might have not died. But then, the cop would have probably raided, and I, I don't know. Love, care for others, act of empathy. I let someone die, and another person die because of that action. Empathy at its finest. Believe in the good intentions of others, I let someone die. And quick decision, that, yep. Yeah. That was pretty accurate. Um, right. Yeah, things took a turn for the self, but those four endings there. And yeah, that pretty much directly led to getting, her getting killed. But yeah, that's caused us to be split, split 53. If I did that, then she wouldn't have died, but also he would be alive. <laughs> God. Okay. Well, I'm going to end this video here. If you liked it, hit the like button, subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. I believe it's the last, uh, like, part or chapter. Uh, the chapter of book one, which is the collision. So, I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye for now. Bye.